Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today I want to tell you that I'm going to be starting to make a video game, or rather I'm doing a game jam with a friend. And I thought I'd get in front of the camera this time, which is a little unusual for me, just because this content's going to be a bit more personal, and I want to sort of bring you guys into the process of making a game from the concept phase to the game jam and hopefully beyond that. Now, I've been a YouTuber since 2011, but before that I was a 3D animator by trade and I learned those skills because I wanted to be a game developer. I got a job in the game industry, I didn't like it that much and I just decided to go a different route. And here I am today, but I've always had this itch to make games and I've been watching solo developers make these incredible games and it's just really inspired me to try and take on the challenge myself but i didn't want to do it solo there's a lot of guys out there doing it solo it looks so challenging and i've always felt that game design should be a collaborative experience you bring two gamers together who want to make a game they both got ideas you bring your ideas together and the best ones sort of come to the top and you make a better game from that so i contacted an old friend this is rich Hi. Now, Rich and I go way back to around 2009, 2010, when we were both in the same Lego club together, uh, hence the Lego minifigs behind me. Uh, I contacted Rich. He happened to be between jobs. He's got a pretty good background in game development, mostly in the Unity engine, and we decided that we're going to build a game in Unreal Engine 5. We're both kind of excited about learning this game engine, but it means that we're both coming in a bit cold. Uh, we know some of the tools that we need to make this game, but we're going to have to learn a lot along the way. So we agreed to do a one to two month game jam together, which is basically taking a video game concept and trying to make a vertical slice as quickly as possible, proving that basically the concept works, it's fun and potentially worth pursuing beyond that. Now we've officially begun the game jam on January 2nd, so a few days ago. But prior to that, I had been working on a game design document specifically for this spaceship game. In fact, I looked at the Google Doc that I had made this design document on, and I created it back in 2020, and I've been kind of playing around with little ideas here and there ever since. But uh, at the start of 2023, I opened it back up again and really sunk into it and tried to put some good ideas down on paper because I was planning to make a video game. I just didn't know who I was going to make it with or how I was going to make it. But now we're finally at the phase of starting it and I've built up a whole bunch of concept material prior to that. And I kind of wanted to talk about the concept phase today. In the future, we'll be talking about the rest of the development process and actually building it. But the concept phase is really where you start. You have an idea for a game, you write it down on paper, maybe you start making some concept art. And that's what I did. I started creating spaceships, drawing out sketches and stuff for my plan for this game. Now I've got 40 ish pages of a design document that more or less explain what I want this game to be. But for today's video, I just will describe it as a more modern interpretation of a 90s era space adventure game. I played a lot of a game called Escape Velocity back in the 90s. I love this game. It's very old school by today's standard. But there's a lot of kind of charming characteristics about this game that I like and I thought, well, what would a modern version of that look like? Then I started thinking about what kind of spaceships I'd want it to have and I sort of landed somewhere in between the Expanse and Homeworld. I love the look of the spaceships in the Expanse. It's sort of a, uh, a realistic look at what spaceship combat might be like about a thousand years into the future and they've got those classic rocket cone engines and stuff and everything sort of makes sense within the universe. But then Homeworld has just got that cool factor, these really big geometric shapes. So I decided to try and land somewhere in between and I started sketching out spaceships. Uh, I picked up Blender again. I used to model in 3D Studio Max, so I had to learn Blender and I started modeling out uh, a very basic spaceship. I sort of picked a, a pirate faction spaceship which more or less looks like a flying dumpster. Potentially not the best ship to start with if I want to showcase a cool looking game, but my logic behind this was that if I'm going to be learning Blender to make a spaceship, well, my first ship probably isn't going to be as good as my second ship or my third ship. So figured maybe save the better modeling skills for some of the cooler looking ships in the game. 
So I started modeling stuff out, getting the concepts together. Uh, this led into UI design. What do I want the game to look like? It's not going to be directly top down, maybe three quarter view. And now we got to get information on the screen. One of the main ways I want to set this game apart from other top down space games is that uh, you'll be controlling a single ship, but I want the engagement ranges to be extreme. Not always extreme, sometimes close quarters, but I want you to be able to fire missiles at ships that are 10, 20, maybe 30 kilometers away. Ships that you cannot see uh, in your main gameplay area. So we're going to need picture in picture and lots of really good UI tools to keep the combat fun, show you lots of cool action and explosions on screen, but also do it through the UI. So I continued to make more spaceship concepts, write out my ideas for how the game was gonna play out, try and organize it as best as possible. I communicated as much of this information to Rich as I could before starting the game jam. And then he decided that we should put together the minimum playable concept document, which will basically say, here's what we need in a minimum playable demo, and here's a few stretch goals in case we're ahead of schedule. Maybe we can add in these neat features. So we made that document, and one of the crucial elements there was to show off the gameplay features that differentiate this game from others. I want realistic ship movement in there, which means zero-g physics. Basically, once your ship is in motion, it should stay in motion until you hit the brakes or act upon it with a counter thruster maneuver. I want to get that picture in picture combat working. I want to show off impressive visuals. We are using the Unreal 5 engine and part of the point of using this engine is that it can do really cool stuff with Nanite, Lumen, uh, some of the awesome ray tracing, emissive materials that should both speed up the workflow and make the game look a lot better. So I put a lot of thought into how I'd want to build the game. And I think the very first week of building this is going to be uh, figuring out how to optimize our workflow, basically just to get as much time spent making the game look great versus troubleshooting and having to redo work. Now, I realize within this video, I'm not really painting a, a, an extremely deep picture of the concept for this game. I figured we would sort of roll that out as we build the game, but I really like the idea of creating dev vlogs, regular dev vlogs for this process. Personally, I'm really interested in game development. I think it's a fascinating process. And once we actually get into the devlogs that focus on building the game, I want to talk about it in a way that hopefully the average person can understand and not overload it with too much technical jargon and coding and stuff like that, but actually show the process of creating assets, linking them up in engine, getting them functioning, how the blueprint system works from a more of a topical level. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts about what you would want to see in a devlog like this. And I will be keeping you posted on the progress of this game. Hopefully we have something really cool to show next time as we've technically already begun working in Unreal Engine. And uh, I'm just excited to show off the progress as it happens. This whole experience has been super stimulating for me. It's It feels like I'm getting back into what I was ultimately meant to do what my childhood dream of being a game developer was and so uh, it's been really exciting to work with rich she's quite talented and i would not be able to do any of what i'm doing right now without him so uh thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the next devlog video subscribe give me a like if you enjoyed this content i'll make this part of a playlist as well so hopefully you can just go from episode one two three and just continue through the devlogs if you're watching this at a later date as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time this is level cap signing off